And here comes Moon. Here comes Moon. I say, I text him when I get there. I said, hey, uh, where you at? Where you, where you sitting? And uh, you, you texted me that the section you were in. I said, oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, that's not that far away. Swing by. Swing by where we are. And then you texted me a picture of you on stage. And I said, is that Garth Brooks? Are you on stage with Garth Brooks? I was. And he was to get a sweatshirt on. And you were behind a microphone. And he was, you know, had his guitar slung around his shoulder. And I, what? And you were kind of vague as to what. I said, did you sing with Garth Brooks? Yeah. Well, I wasn't like, yeah. I was like, yes, my life has been made. So what happened? Because remember we talked on Friday. You're like, oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to meet him or not. I didn't. I didn't know. Um, you want the full rundown? The full rundown? Because it's a hell of a story. Okay, I, yeah. I'm, I'm giving it to you. Um, okay, so for, for years and years, I, I've known uh, a relative of his, but I've never asked a single question. As soon as I found out that uh, or, or was told that he was a relative of him, this friend of mine, I was like, I can never say anything because I will, I'll freak out. Like, this right. is the only guy I don't really have like heroes or, or or musical heroes except for Garth Brooks. Right, and and yeah, you've said that in the past. Uh, well, I know when he was shouting out the band and stuff. I guess the manager, his manager, is from here. Went to Normandy High School. Yeah. I don't know if that was the connection no. or. No, Garth's nephew, who's an incredible dude, and I met his family. His family is. The most genuine, incredible people on earth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, long, to, to try to get it down to uh, radio time, um, he called me and said, uh, "I have good news and bad news. Um, the good news is, I think I have a, a ticket for you. This is Garth's, the relative. This is Garth's you. nephew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is my buddy. And uh, he's like, I think you're gonna be, need to be down here. Um, usually, when he's in town or when we go to shows, you know, we hang out around sound check time, or because we're not gonna get a lot of time with him after the show. So we'll hang out before." Mm -hmm. And you might have you might have an opportunity. He's trying not to get my hopes up, and I'm trying not to get my hopes right. up or anything. Because I don't need, I didn't need this. I you were like, good just going to the show. Oh, dude, I just I'm that guy that I just want to be. If I was in the same stadium as the guy, I would have died happy. Like yeah. this, this is my dude. This uh -huh. is, he's the reason that I play music. It, there was literally a moment. Sure. Uh, and don't do the piano, even if I start crying, because I, I may start crying, and I'm not kidding. If you start crying, the piano may. Happen. You can't do it. Don't. The don't, piano's don't, coming out, dude. If, if you start crying, the piano. <laughs> piano I will learn how to play Listen, the piano if he the doesn't. The piano guy's standing at the door. Uh, I'm not. I'm not an emotional reactor. I I, uh, I shed about twelve tears a decade, and I shed them all on Saturday. And, uh, please don't start crying here. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, dude, if so, you start crying. Don't, 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 don't. Please, please, please stop. Oh, I'm going to make fun of you. You can make fun of me all you want. I don't care. Nothing's <laughs> touching me. So Garth Brooks Day starts, and uh, he says, come on down here, uh, you know, around this time. So so I did. <laughs> I was there like 40 minutes early just standing around like, uh -huh. what, what's right. happening? Were you by yourself or you? I was you, by myself. No, lady? no, I wasn't able to bring Mallory and because um, uh, we weren't sure what was going to happen. And uh, you, you you know, even the family never really knows, yeah. especially because it's the first day of the tour, remember. So I wasn't expecting much. And uh, he says, hey, uh, Garth's road manager is going to come out and get you. He's a tall fella, whatever. So I was like, okay. So I see him, and uh, he's like, C come on in, you know, puts the pass on me. He didn't speak in country. What? <laughs> he's a tall drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. He was six foot tall, six yeah. two with so his hat put, on. He puts a the knee hot or grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the sticky pass on me, and it's got my name on it, and we walk in, and we're going through the halls, and he's like, have you ever seen Garth? And I was like, no, you know, um, I haven't. And he's like, well. There's a, there's this family, you know, you know Mike, go on over, and I, I walk over, and I see I see my buddy, and I, I hug him. I'm like, dude, you have no idea. Like, I can't believe this. I'm, yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm on the floor right in front of the stage just looking at this, this Even stage. Even just that would just be Just seeing a enough. drum kit that close. That's I'm, cool. I'm yeah. freaking out. These are the dudes that I've been listening to that, that, that changed my life in, mm -hmm. you know, like 1990. And... Uh, I'm talking to Mike, and, I, and I'm and I'm I'm just I'm thanking him, and I and I meet his mom, and uh, and then I hear to my left, Garth Brooks, and yeah. he's right there, and he shakes my hand, and I just went numb. I, I went I went wow. total fangirl. Dude. What's I the first thing out. you said to him? I really don't know. I don't know what I said. I, I went I went numb. It was like a spiritual. Did you at experience. least have a firm handshake? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You dead fish. I don't know. You dead fish, Garth uh, Brooks, bro. But listen, your hand sweaty? I know that I said um, that the reason I've been able to provide for my kids the way that I have with my livelihood is because of him, and it started with him. Uh huh. 
which brought tears to his eyes, which brought tears to my eyes. Oh, yeah. Whew, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me get it together. Don't don't no piano yet. No, not, not yet. <laughs> get out of my face, Jeff. <laughs> Just gotta see if there's tears. <laughs> <laughs> that'll help. That'll help dry him. The piano guy is is, is he's cracking, his, cracking his, knuckles his knuckles right now. Just wait. <clears throat> so it brings tears to his eyes, which brings tears to my eyes, and then he says, "Here, put my number in your phone." And and text me anytime you need anything or want to talk about songwriting or that kind of stuff. So then I'm shaking and I'm fr I'm, I'm just freaking out. Let me borrow your phone real quick. Yeah, me too. I, we call him right now. No, no. Do, so hey, do you have him? Do you have him on your phone as just Garth? Just that. No <laughs> last name. <laughs> so, so, so I I'm I'm like my fingers don't work. I think I said that. I was like I, my my fingers don't work. I, I I don't know what to do. This doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. And it didn't. It it was just like cloud nine dream. It was very uh -huh. surreal and didn't feel. It didn't feel. I mean, it felt right, but it didn't feel right because it just didn't feel real. And uh, nicest dude, so so very genuine and gracious, and and I and I mean that wholeheartedly. Like, like the dude is an example to me as not just a performer, but as a as a man, as a dad, as everything. I'm I'm still pretty hung up about him. His number in your phone? Yeah, is it under? Is it under? It's just Garth. My friend Garth. <laughs> no, it's just Garth. <laughs> or is it under? Is it under GB? <laughs> no, it's best just friend Garth. Garth. <laughs> and and I I he said he said uh, you know text me so I have your number and uh, and I was like ah, I don't think I'll ever text you. I, I was I was just flabbergasted uh, that I'm standing next to this guy. You know, he didn't need to say a word. I, it would would have made my life plus some uh, just just standing there knowing sure. that I was next to him. So we're 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 talking a little bit. Had a great conversation. Just just kind of about music. He he just knew rapping. I, he knew I was a performer. His family had told me uh, told him about some of the stuff that I do, and uh, we kind of talked it out. We were we were talking about not playing on a click and having that control of pushing and pulling. Sure. And, and sure. just sort of having like, uh, music, you know, inside our music. Stuff. Yeah, well, just some talking per shop. Performer talk. Just two thing. musicians talking shop. And he then, just did that so he could write the lunch off. You know. Just, that. <laughs> yeah, right. So then uh, so then he. He's like, uh, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta go. We, we, you know, his first show of the tour. So he, he just goes around the, the, the stage and he gets up there. And first of all, we, we talked about um, some of the songs that I've performed. He said, "Have you ever done any of my yeah. songs?" And I was like, "Yeah, and solo shows. You know, I do different arrangements and 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 I've done a few." And I told him some of my favorite songs, and he goes up and starts playing acoustic and just testing stuff out. And he's got the Garth mic on. It's mm -hmm. just him, you know, him and his hoodie, and he's playing guitar and he's he's. Yeah, he was he was dressed out. If you no want, if you pants look, on. If you look at the picture. Stop it. <laughs> And he starts doing uh, some of the songs um, that I mentioned, and he played. I don't know. I, I just went. I, I instantly like the family's seen this a hundred times. So you know the eleven yeah, family them, it's... members. It's a very. There's nobody in this in the stadium except yeah. for his family and me. And I don't. I'm. I'm still just. I can't believe I'm here. I don't know why. What I did to deserve this. I'm. 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 I'm almost like panicked in this very weird stoic way. And I go up to the front of the stage because I gotta watch this. Like I'm, yeah, I'm of getting course. a so once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm getting a, a private concert, and I don't go to my phone. Was the full nothing. band on stage? No, it just was, him. It was just him, and he played his acoustic for, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe. Just just him testing things out. Played all, all a bunch of my favorite songs mm -hmm. that I mentioned that he did not play that evening. Then Trisha Yearwood comes out. And they they're testing stuff out, and they're doing in another's eyes, and and this song and that song, and it, and then she comes over and introduces herself to, to me and says hi to the family, and he's still going, and I'm just I'm just a a, a kid studying every move and, and just taking it in. I'm just taking it, soaking in. it in, taking it in, trying not to cry. Yeah. Uh, then the band comes up. Band comes up and dude, these guys, this is I mean, this is his old band. For, I've been listening to these guys. Yeah, on when CD he when he introduced the band, there all these guys have been with him twenty plus years. Oh, yeah, every yeah. single and, one of and them. And a couple yeah. of them I recognize like by face, which is it even shocked me. I was like, oh my god, they, I, I know that dude. And uh, they they start and they sound exquisite, like I mean, just flawless. And uh, then I hear the the thunder from from Thunder Rolls, which was the moment. In 1990, that like changed everything for me, and I, I kind of briefly told him that story. And he don't hit the piano, uh, don't hit the piano yet. Hang on, <laughs> no, no, don't do it. And uh, he says my name and says, "Get up here." And um, and I, I'm not kidding, my face went numb. Like like my face went numb, and mm -hmm. I, I I'm pretty sure I forgot all the uh, words in the English language. And I was like, "There's no way he's there's no way he's asking me to come up there. That's, that's not going to happen. He's talking to somebody else." And then he tells his crew member, he's like, "Make sure he gets up here, all right." And then I, I come up on stage, and the whole time I'm like, "Please, please don't make me sing. Please, I, 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 I'm sh physically mm -hmm. shaking. How am I supposed to sing it?" Right. And uh, guys, you know me. I'm not a nervous guy. Sure. I, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm very 
You have a good excuse to be I, nervous here. I'm just saying I'm, I'm very controlled. I've taken the stage for thousands upon thousands of people. And if, and I will say, if that stadium were full, I would have been less nervous. But it's just me. Oh, and Garth Brooks. And Garth Brooks yeah. and the band that, like, this is the, the collection of, of human beings that set me on the path from where I am. This, this moment, this song even. And I'm going up and I'm shivering. Like, I'm, I'm weird. So I, and there's a video of this and I'm going to post it later. Um, the thunder starts and as I'm approaching the mic, I can't think of anything except for the first word, which is 330. You know, like the first mm -hmm. two words. And uh, he goes, he looks at me, and the song's already started. And, and he looks at me and goes, I'll take the first verse, you take the second. I go, no, 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 I got the first, you take the second. Oh. I <laughs> called him off because all I thought was, there's no way I'll remember the words by is the that, second verse. Is that in this? Is this a little clip? No, no, no. That, you can't hear that because that was just him, me, him uh -huh. and me talking. Because we have a little clip of this. Oh, and, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, he, awesome. and then he looks at me and just goes, okay, take it. And, and, and I took it. And I, all I'm thinking immediately is, I'm going to fall flat on my face here because I realize that it's in a different key than I sing in it. Ah, well. And the Damn musician, it, Jeff, huh? the musician in my brain takes over, and I'm like, I don't have the range for this. I'm not, I'm not low. So, not only am I out of range, but I'm like, I'm shaking. And all I thought was, please remember. Well, the words. let's play this little clip here. This yeah. is uh, Garth Brooks and uh, and Moon sing a darn soundtrack. <laughs> So then he takes he takes the third verse and uh, kind of points to me like take it again and all I thought was halfway through when I finally started kind of getting my wits together a little bit I, and realizing like what's happening and mm -hmm. I I, so I took the mic off uh, the the stand and I realized like I'm here this is not going to happen again this doesn't happen let's own the moment yeah and I I'll, and I got a higher range so like halfway through the chorus the second chorus I just I uh, I went to my range. You you, as they say, you opened it up. I opened it you up. You go, let her rip, Tater Jim. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it low with any sort of power or gusto, so I, I, I let it rip. And it's not the it's not the prettiest of lines because uh, I was, again, just my knees were jelly. Yeah, that's, but, uh, that's him. Him screaming in the background, going, "Yeah!" You know what? I bet he appreciated you doing that. Keep, keep the blame. You know what I'm saying? Like you went to your not. I shouldn't say he appreciated. He now knows you can sing like a son bitch because you went to where you can sing. Yeah. You well, know what I mean? the, this little solo section thing, he comes over and just starts talking. He's like, "Man, you know, when we were talking about range and just joking, he was kind of loosening me up." And uh, and I, by this point, and you can see in the video, we're just standing in the center stage, just just sort of like talking, and it, it's one of the most surreal looking videos I've ever seen. Then he does the, the full blown third verse. And this isn't on the record, but everybody knows this. The thunder was going, dude. Oh, 
Full production. Full production. They had the, the, uh, the sound in the entire uh, stadium. It was and then he, in the video, he points to the mic and was like, take the last one. told more people about this than Moon has. Like I, I, I all week and I'm calling everyone like, dude, you, well, see, you hear about that? That I, I is, came on, that is and incredible. And the, the story like shaking and feeling like I was going to throw up. The story so doesn't cool, end man. there. Because during the show, towards the end, Garth's, you know, kind of thanking the crowd and then, well, and then this little, this little thing happens on stage uh, Saturday night. I talked to a kid named Phil before this for this music. And he just kept saying, he can't believe that's his true music because he makes his living in music. That gets to pay for him to raise his children and support his family by just getting to play music. So I think I speak for him. I think I speak for me and a lot of people here. Thank you for our dream. This is very, very special. He shouted you out on stage. I, t I texted you immediately. <laughs> right? Yeah, and that, that brought me to tears in my seat, too, man. Oh, there they yeah. are. There they are. <laughs> he made it in. He made it in. We got I, it. I love it. I hate you guys. We got it. I think he's the only guy that makes me cry like that. Anything else to say? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got two phones pointed directly at his face. The piano guy is raring uh, at the helm here. And, and, yeah, zoom in right up there. <laughs> I do want to thank him, uh, obviously, for, for everything. But his entire family was some of the most like inspiring and gracious people. Turn this off, so it's uh, so it sounds more genuine, man. It's ridiculous. Let it go. I, I do I do owe so much to him and uh, his entire family and uh, and Mike and uh, and my lady for for allowing me to go down there and understanding what this what this meant to me and um, it, I mean, dudes, I, I know. It probably doesn't mean much to, to, to most people, but if you've had any sort of moment where you've been inspired somebody and they've really like changed the trajectory of your life and then you get to see them and tell them that, that's more than enough. For him to be as gracious as he was and then allow me to have that sort of moment for myself is like pretty crazy. Perfectly timed there. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> hey, so is this, a, this was a life-changing exper uh, experience for you? Um, yeah. Can't I mean, you see he's the, grown like I was going to say, yeah. I just I hope that, that the change is you will no longer be a D-bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely changing. No, I no, just, it's bigger. <laughs> no, this, this wasn't the Pope one. And, and just to let you know, just to let you know, you, you know, he brought a tear to your eyes, but we just got an email that said that audio brought a tear to my eyes, so I just want to let you know that you really brought a tear to Goat Balls' eyes. Oh, so, oh how sweet. He's very dramatic and sensitive. <laughs> Goat balls. Goat just, balls? Yeah, he is. That's our goat balls, Riz. I'll just wrap it up by saying, like, <laughs> it, this was like a, it was just like a story storybook full circling. Listen, even the build-up. It just up, doesn't happen. You even know what, I, mean? what I think I, to, I told you that, Gar I, I think when I heard the news that Garth Brooks was coming to town, and you went full-blown, mm. I mean, you fangirled out months yeah, ago. Yeah. And then as we're, we're getting up to the show, and it's Garth Brooks Day, it's coming, it's coming, I, I don't think there was anybody in this city more excited. Yeah. And then for this to happen, I'm very, I'm very, very happy for it. It happened yeah. to the right person. That's, That's the, amazing. I think a good I, I'm glad you appreciated it. I needed this uh, right now. This, this like, this was very divine timing. This came at the right time in my life. All right. And, well, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so that's a great place. Have so you changed since then? Because you still got cowboy boots on. Yeah. Uh, no, that's funny because these were, yeah, these were in the bathroom. Uh, you just said, like, never yeah, wash my hands again, Garth. <laughs> you want to call them up? Somebody, somebody says here, somebody says here, this is the perfect way to put it. It's meeting your hero gone right. Yes. 
It's yeah, it was oh, everything yeah. gone right. I mean, I yeah. mean, the, the the song that that I watched, you know, when I turned to my dad, I was like, I'm gonna do that. And you got to sing that song with Garth Brooks. And like Can to you to the that? literal sense, I I got to do that. Hey, and kids, it's not supposed to happen. Reach for the stars, because one day you may get there <laughs> if you know the right people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, and and thanks to everybody. I, I never. You're welcome. I never. Re- I, I, <laughs> I, I mean that. Like I, I posted a picture or two, and that was for me. I'm just, you know, I was I was so giddy, and uh, the support, and and everybody, I guess, knowing how how big of a deal he was to me, uh, was was a big deal as well. So that's it, great. I'm it, I'm, I'm honestly very happy for you. And, and thank you, man. Thank you guys. It was like, that was it. Next up, Jeff Burton. Yep. Can't wait. What's your dreams? Oh, when the Pope comes back. I want to get up there and sing with him. It really is. I want to sing Thunder Rolls with the Pope. Yeah. I want to do Ave Maria. I want to do Ave Maria. I think I... 